Smartwatches are cool, but they can be bulky and battery life is an issue that's so annoying to deal with. But luckily, RingCon sponsored this video so we could look at their new Gen 2 Air Smart Ring, which has great battery life, great fitness tracking, and a low entry price point and no monthly subscription. I've been wearing the Gen 2 Air for a little bit now and I have to say, it's a pretty sleek design. I've been wearing the Galaxy Silver one for a couple weeks here, but I'm really excited to see this one because it's the Dune Gold. And I think gold suits me a little bit better than the, the silver. And ooh, that is coppery, kind of rose goldy, very, very Dune. Listen, Al Gaib. <laughs> All right, but let's take a look what's in the box here before I get too excited about the ring here. Right off the bat, we get our documentation. Not exciting. And we have our charging cradle and included USB-C to C cable. Now let's see how long this cable is as one of the differences between the Gen 2 and Gen 2 Air doesn't come with the charging case where it actually carries a battery with it and has 150 days worth of charge in it. This one you have to charge with the included cradle every single time you wanna charge the ring, which is kind of a bummer. The case was quite nice. I actually have it right here. And it's a really convenient way to charge your ring on the go or just not having to worry about having it plugged in all the time. Though you don't have to worry about charging it very often as the battery life is up to 10 days, which is awesome. And I found was pretty accurate. I rarely had to charge, which is almost nerve wracking. It feels like you're doing something wrong and that you should be charging, but it truly just lasts that long, which is great. The cradle is also magnetic, so you don't have to worry about it coming off or anything like that. And it just snaps on, which is great. Taking a closer look at the ring, we can see it is stainless steel, which again is a bit different from the Gen 2, which is aerospace grade titanium. This one is eco-friendly, earthly in its steel, but I think it looks great. And here we can see all of our sensors. We have quite a few. We have accurate PPG sensors, a temperature sensor, and three axis accelerometer, which is what you're gonna use to you know, swing your arm and it knows when you're going for a walk or biking or whatever it is you're doing. And the temperature sensor is used for things like women's health or knowing if you're getting sick, which is awesome to have uh, on you at all times, I guess. The one thing that's missing here compared to its Gen 2 counterpart is the sleep apnea monitoring. So if you're sleeping, it won't be able to tell you, hey, you're snoring and could die at any moment, but what are the odds of that? You're fine. One thing that's great is it does have this little etching so you know which way the bottom is where the sensors are so you can keep it in the fleshy part of your finger to make sure you have the most accurate tracking. And it's not too wide. At only 6.8 millimeters, you can't really feel it. Like, you know, I can push it with my finger, but it's not annoying at all, which is great. And its thickness is only 2.1 millimeters. So again, I rarely feel it, even as someone who doesn't wear rings. I used to wear a smartwatch to bed a lot for the sleep tracking, but it's pretty uncomfortable at times to put your hand under the pillow or if you're sleeping next to a partner and you move your wrist wrong and all of a sudden you're flashing them in the middle of the night. This is a lot more convenient and a lot of the time I forget it's even there. Beat the tariffs with the Shipstorm sale event at LTTstore.com. We are offering free shipping on any order worldwide, over 150 US dollars. So it's a great time to pick up a commuter backpack, a precision screwdriver, or a stylish framework hoodie. Oh, I took it off to put on this jacket. The point is, we've also got never before seen pricing on our MCM Essentials Bundle. Don't miss it, we'll have it linked down below. All right, but the ring is not just for looks. It does health tracking as well, which is fantastic. Here we are in the app. It's pretty easy to set up. All you do is enter your information, create an account, and bam, you're in. Since I've been using this for a couple weeks now, it already has some information. So let's take a look through and see what kind of results you can expect. On the front screen here, right away, we see our score. I am full of energy today. I had a good sleep. My vital status is almost at 100%, which is unheard of. My activity, 73, and I'm pretty relaxed at an 87. So I just have all this information at a glance on the front dashboard. It would be nice to get a little bit deeper and give me some interpretation of what these numbers mean right off the bat, but you can dig into it and see some of the things that it thinks are affecting things like your stress, your activity levels and goals, or your sleep. Like this page, all I did is click on vital status and it tells me that my numbers are normal, but it doesn't actually say why, but I'm glad. One of the main reasons I wear smart wearables is for information on sleep, and they do make it really clear and easy on that front, which is fantastic. You can see the amount of time you spent to sleep, which was not enough, but my efficiency was great. You can mark how you felt when you woke up, so it can learn about you and your sleep hygiene, as well as all your different sleep stages, so you can see you know, what disturbed you in the middle of the night. Mine was dreams about Riley. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have so much information. It can be a lot, you know? I don't personally check out my HRV or SpO2 levels, but it's tracking it all the time and you can look back on a daily basis, see how things are changing over time and see if there's any patterns you need to change. 
And to help with that is the AI features built into the app, which I know AI is kind of all over the place and people are rightfully upset with some aspects of it, but here it's pretty constrained with you just being able to ask it certain questions like, how did I sleep? And I'll tell you, you slept really well and your sleep score is really high. You slept for a total of six hours and 50 minutes and you can click see details where it takes you back to the sleep screen. On top of sleep, you can ask things like how active am I or about your stress levels, which is great. Even here, it's you know suggesting that my stress level is getting a little bit high, which makes sense. I get a little nervous in front of you. And my AI gives me kissy emojis. But that's not the only way they use AI. If you go to the plan tab here, it'll actually create you an AI health plan. So it'll see what areas you're lacking in, where you should push yourself and how hard, which is great. So mine says I do need to get a little bit more sleep, take a few more steps in the day and lower my stress level. So I'm falling apart, but AI will help me put it all back together. <laughs> Another feature I really like is the vital sign abnormality tracking feature. So if we click on this, you can see that it's warning me that my heart rate was a little bit higher later into the evening than normal. As you can see here, it shows where my heart rate was at compared to my seven day average. What's nice is you can actually go farther down and flag what the cause of the abnormality was. And for me, it was drinking alcohol. <laughs> on top of being able to track what might have caused the abnormality, it does give you some advice on how to prevent this in the future. Uh, in this case, less caffeine, making sure you have your vitamins, getting good sleep, all very helpful things. And then you can easily dismiss it so you don't have this scary warning at the top of your homepage. Here in the fitness section of the app, you have everything you'd hope to see. Standing hours, calories burned, steps, and it goes pretty granular, which is great. It'll have your base metabolism versus how many active calories you burned, your standing hours, the intensity of your workouts, as well as your exercise record, which will GPS track if you have your phone with you, which is great. My only complaint is you do have to manually start all your exercises. So if you're going to go for a walk, you have to remember to activate it. Or if you're going for a bike ride or any of the other available activities, I think automatic tracking would take it to the next level since this is always on you. And it is IP68 waterproof up to hundred meters while swimming, which is great. So you're gonna have it on you all the time. So the Gen 2 Air seems like a pretty solid package, even when compared to the Gen 2. Sure, you're losing a couple days battery life and the sleep apnea tracking, but for $100 less at only $200, it is a great package, especially if you're someone who's just getting into the smart wearable world. You don't have to worry about charging it all the time. You don't have to wear a bulky watch or worry about constant notifications. And the health tracking is really solid and gives you an insight into things that you might not be thinking about. For me personally, I think a smart ring and smart glasses, like the even reality ones we checked out earlier, would be an awesome combination of having your notifications when you need them and health tracking all the time. So if you wanna get your own, you can check out our coupon code in the description to get 5% off. Thanks again to RingCon for sponsoring this video. Uh, let us know down in the comments if you're ready to get a smart ring and if you're looking for something else to watch, check out Linus uh, unboxing the RingCon Gen 2.